here we go. Here's a little uh, selector guide. There's a lot of information on here, and I'll, I'll kind of give you guys a quick overview. So, so over here we have uh, uh, your more traditional, your fixed microwave, your portable microwave. We have solutions for this. You know, uh, there's a lot of different approaches. If you're interested in something in this area, we can call and make some recommendations. Obviously, you know, at, at Vitovation, we we strive to solve our pain, our customers' pains and frustrations. You have a pain or frustration with wireless communications. You're tired of dropouts. You're tired of tired of uh, high latency. You're tired of uh, poor signal quality. Uh, hopefully, we can help you. If we can't help you, we'll make a recommendation to someone that can. Uh, uh, you know, and 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 you know, if you share your budget with us, you know, we're not going to spend your money. And 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 you know. If if you can only afford a five thousand dollar system, you know we'll we'll make a five thousand dollar system work for your application. If you need you know five nines of reliability, you know we'll 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 find a COFDM, uh, you know a twenty five thousand. Or if you really need a really super high end system with distributed antennas, you know seventy eighty thousand dollars. So we have solutions at every tier. So through the discovery process, through the questions we ask, and frankly the questions you ask of us, we'll figure out together what's the best solution at your given budget and price point uh, for your application. You know, again, you know, we may go in thinking wireless is the best solution. You know, we might figure out, look, let's just run a fiber, uh, or run a fiber part of the way, or distribute the antennas over fiber. So here we have our fixed wireless. Uh, and uh, our, our, our more traditional microwave. Uh, there is uh, uh, these systems tend to be more expensive. Um, you, you, yes, there is a license. Some of them are portable. Some are not. Uh, again, everyone's definition of portable is different. Some de people's definition of portable is it fits on a backpack. Others' definition of portable is that it fits in a crate that is shippable by FedEx, and you don't need a freight forwarder or uh, a helicopter to lift it. Um, so the definition of portable uh, uh, varies uh, for each application. Then our, our, our Vito Link, COFDM and Vito Link 5G links, you know, they kind of fit in this Wi-Fi spectrum, whether it's 2.4 or 5 gigs. And uh, there's either light, light to heavy compression, again, it depends on the application or the product, uh, lower upfront cost, no recurring cost, and in the two point, in the case of Wi-Fi bands, there's no licensing fees. They're usually highly portable, uh, omnidirectional, or with a dish. Um, then we got our bonded cellular. I mean, when it comes to universality or, or, or flexibility, uh, bonded cellular is probably your best approach. Uh, but there are recurring costs you have to pay per bandwidth. You know. Uh, unfortunately, Verizon, AT&T, Sprint, and T-Mobile don't give away bandwidth for free. Uh, it's not like going through the air. You know, if it's an unlicensed band, uh, it's free transmission. If it's licensed, there'll be some fees, but uh, you know, so lower upfront costs uh, uh, or medium upfront costs, uh, but then you got to pay some recurring fees. Um, and then you'd need to be within the cellular cellular band, and it's typically omnidirectional antennas. Uh, then with the 60, you know, we have some small lightweight systems, systems that would do ASI, HDSDI, and Ethernet. You know, one or the other, not not all combined. Uh, same thing with the 70 gigs, and then this dual band 70, 80 gigs. Just right now, it's just Ethernet only. Uh, these systems have no compression, uh, medium cost to high cost. No recurring costs. Well, well, yeah, there are some recurring costs here when it comes to the licensing. So maybe that needs to be changed. Um, and this is actually a typo here. There, there is uh, licensing here. These two should have licensing. So yes, there's licensing and there's costs associated. So you know, we, we, this is a little. Uh, I'll fix that when we're done. There's a little typo there. Uh, so these are the things that we help you 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 weigh out the choices uh, when it comes to these radios too. Uh, we have the choice of horn antennas and the parabolic dishes. Parabolic dishes usually have more gain, but they're bigger. And if, in the case of hockey, putting a parabolic dish in the hockey goal was not a choice. So we used a little thimble, little horn, tiny little horn. It's about you know, like an oversized thimble. 
uh, uh, we were able to get uh, 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 seven or eight dBs of gain. It had a wider um, uh, 20 degree um, uh, envelope. So when the hockey goal moved, we could remain locked with the stationary receiver above. So, you know, when you think of 60, 70, and 80, you think of stationary targets. Uh, but antenna towers can sway. Buildings definitely sway in high wind. So you you want to have a little bit of uh, 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 envelope there, you know, the, 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 even though these beams are narrow, when you go a kilometer or so, the beam spreads and that works in our favor. So if the buildings are five kilometers away and they're swaying, uh, the beams, we would design the system so the beams are wide enough so they maintain lock. So these are the things we help you with. Uh, 